Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. We've had a bit of a break because of uh, a cold that totally destroyed me. <laughs> totally and utterly ruined my voice and just wiped me out to be honest. So here we have a picture that I took. So I might just give myself a bit of a line. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> just using a uh, yellow ochre pencil. Just to give me a area to work in. So we're going to use this as the idea. <clears throat> I want to create a glow. A nice glow like that. And, uh, and I think that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> this was on over the field actually. And the field's all flooded. Uh, a lot of the UK, <laughs> if, you've, if it's been shown on the news, is flooded. So uh, <laughs> I got a really cool reflection uh, one day, which I did an oil painting of, which you can find on my channel. And uh, but this is in a similar place actually. And I thought I'd have a go at doing this using the watercolors and gouache. So I'm going to move my picture up. I'll uh, try and put a picture in one of the corners just so you can see it so I'm just propping it up a little bit and here's my palette of colors <laughs> well plate of colors uh, for starters we have some cadmium yellow <laughs> so it's just a mix um, of colours that I'm using, some uh, some of it I've made myself, <laughs> some homemade watercolour there. Um, it's quite easy to make watercolour if you don't know, it's just pigment and gum arabic to make uh, a home brew and then you could add stuff in if you wanted to change it. So, <laughs> oh no I've got paint on me already. It's funny, look, as soon as I get the paints out, there's paint on my hand. Damn. Right, let's get cracking on this one. I've got a hairdryer ready. And uh, I've got some uh, water and a few brushes. And some bigger brushes here. Some of that I can really flow in some paint. <laughs> so I'll try and show you everything. And uh, there's no face cam, unfortunately, because I'm trying this setup to be able to do paintings uh, that's an easy setup at the moment. And then I'll, if I once I get used to this, <laughs> I'm always trying new setups. It's funny, really. <clears throat> So I've got some ultramarine blue, and that's it. I'm going to start washing in some sky colour to get get the because uh, we've got a quite a nice dark brown, which I like. This pad, it's a uh, it is what is it now? <laughs> what is it? scrapbooking card it's a it's a scrapbook and uh, I find the papers thick enough to be able to do this and it cockles a little bit but you know I'm not really bothered so we'll take the blue down to about there this is only the first layer of paint and then I think I'll bring the horizon up a bit because it's quite low I might bring it up to about there maybe. So down this area. If you give your brush a wash, give your brush a wash, and then I'll pick up some of the yellow. I'll try not to lean the plate on there, look at that. <laughs> it's okay. Let's do that again.
that'll do. Don't have to have it perfect because we'll be going over that anyway. Try not to uh, ruin it again. <laughs> so using the same brush I'll pick up some of this yellow, move it over here, get some of that red, make a nice orange. So the good thing about watercolour and gouache is you can just reactivate it with water. I mean, to me, that is brilliant. <laughs> it really is brilliant. Right, let us start using this and we'll put this in down here with where our glow is. So our glow is going to be along here. So this will warm the paper up a bit, which is what we want to do. And you can bring it in together if you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm not fussed if it goes a bit green really. I always get little hairs stuck to the brush. <laughs> right, now what I can do, so I'm starting to uh, go for it now, get some of the white, get some of this colour again, a bit more red I think, and a bit more yellow I think, cadmium yellow, oh is it, no it's lemon yellow that is, that's lemon yellow and that's cad red, make a nice orange. In with the white, and then we can start using this to create a bit of a bit of brightness there. Just wipe, wipe in the brush, get into some more of that white. Going in for a bit more of the red, a bit more of the white. Bit of yellow, a bit of red, I think that's a bit better. A bit better for this. I think a bit more colour. I think that'll work. Let's have a look. Let's just go shh. You have to remember that it'll uh, sort of dull away a little bit. It'll dull away. Keep it to an orange. Orange. Orangey yellow. It's funny because it goes lighter here and, and then it goes um, really strong sort of uh, colour, a lot more a lot more pigment in where the glow is so I'll start putting more more red and yellow where that glow is. Now I've had, I've actually tried uh, sitting out there painting, doing um, painting similar to this where it's sunsets. And it's really hard. <laughs> I did actually manage on one of them. It really worked. Made made it really look like what I wanted. So I'm just increasing the intensity of the, the colour here, slowly building it up. Hope you can see this okay. I'm just uh, 
doing layers, lots of layers. So I keep picking up my colour. Well, this uh, mixture of yellow and red. And keep adding it onto here to strengthen this colour. Layer after layer. So what I could do with it now is getting that blue in as well. Got a nice blue. So uh, let's use another brush so I can keep this brush as my warm brush. I'll just put that there and I'll use maybe this one for my blue. These are just graduate brushes, Daily Rowney graduates. <laughs> Not expensive. Just picking up a bit of white, go into that blue. Oops, picked up too much white then. <laughs> They'll work at the base quite light and blue there. Uh, so I want to uh, start putting that in. So I'm just going to use my finger to. Uh, so blend that away there. Okay. I want more pigment. More pigment the better. I'm just gonna wash the white off the brush. Washing the white off the brush. I can get some more of that blue. I got some more blue now. That's better. That's better. Do like, do like painting. <laughs> I really enjoy painting. I've been doing a lot of uh, computer art recently because I'm working on a children's book um, of my own that I've written. <laughs> I might share some of the process of doing that as well because it's quite interesting. Well, I think it is. So I've got a nice blue there now. We wait for it to uh, dry because then it will sort of fade. Notice there's a bit of white there. You can just You see how I just used a, uh, a wet brush, just a wet brush, just smooth that off a bit. <clears throat> okay, now I might use my hair dryer. So what I'll do is I'll uh, fast forward the hair dryer. Okay, so I've given it a bit of a drying. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, now I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to start putting in some of the clouds because I've got like these clouds. My, yeah, I'll just put the clouds in now. <laughs> so, what we need is a brownish, brownish, reddish. <laughs> A brownish, reddish colour. So that's burnt umber. This is a bit of magenta. I 
think I think that'll probably do. See, I made some burnt umber, and it's very um, the dark brown, a more of a stronger, darker brown than the burnt umber you buy, which is interesting. The burnt umber I bought has got more orangey in it. Makes me wonder about the pigment they used. Anyway, I might throw a bit of blue in it. Let's see how that looks on the paper. So we've got a cloud going along here. Got one going along here. Actually, that wanted to be. Oh, there's one there as well. So when you start putting the clouds in, it starts setting everything back. It starts pushing things back. I think I can go darker on this cloud. So you just make a darker mixture using your brown, blue and red. Could go even darker. A bit of the blue, throw the blue in. Look how much darker it goes because blue and the brown makes a black, so much darker. Now it does mix a bit with the blue that's on, but we don't worry about that. Picking up a bit more of the colour. So I've got a big, big load of cloud. And just put the darker parts in, I think. And we're just using this uh, picture as inspiration. We don't have to do the same. We can change things if we want to change it. And we've already changed a few things. <laughs> and this cloud goes about the same. What I might do actually, I might um, increase the cloud here. So we're starting with the dark area and then we'll introduce some of the uh, lighter bits right so what I might do is throw it in this what's that make Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I might use that as well. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I like that. So I'm looking at the uh, bits, of, bits of light breaking into the uh, clouds. Putting that in. This should start to fade away a little bit because it's quite wet. So. Uh, the wetter your colour, what you'll find is it will fade away. So, if you've uh, used gouache and you thought, oh, that's not working the way I wanted, <laughs> it's because when it dries, it uh, fades away a little bit. Especially when it's really wet like that, that definitely will. And if you're painting wet in wet, you can, you can mix the colours together. So, I quite like that. This painting you could do, this, this one you could definitely do. 
you're watching this one and you thought, oh, I've got watercolours, <laughs> but I never get on with them very well. You could do this one. So what I'm thinking is uh, get a bit of the white gouache and the yellow. I'm going to create that glow. So we was going to have our glow about there, I think. I've gone into a bit of red as well. Just want to pull some of that. Across like that. Bit of the yellow. So we want that to be brighter than that. Um, so we'll do another level, another level, another layer of that. Um, in a minute, I just want to get it started really. Because while I'm waiting for this bit to dry, I can get this bit started. <laughs> so we want some more dark. So I'm using the blue, brown and red again. And we need to start um, putting in... So we'll have this go to there. We're going to make going to have to make this really dark which we'll, we'll do as we go and the, the darker this is as well the brighter it's going to make that sun so some colour in there. I think I accidentally picked up some white then. <laughs> Just milked my colours up a bit. I'm going to throw in some brown areas in amongst this as well, just so it's not all the same. don't want it to be all the same. sort of a bush there, so I'm creating that, just sort of stabbing like that. <laughs> Constantly just building, building it up. Then I can use some of these colour to modify, and change what's going on here. So 
So I'm grabbing some more of the white and then uh, some more of the yellow and red. But I'm going to have more white in this time. And that means when it dries, it doesn't fade away as much as it would have done. I might need a bit more yellow. Make sure you pick up a lot of the yellow. <laughs> Get it nice and bright. A few of the uh, clouds where they are just picking up yellow. See how this is all sort of faded away now. But it just it does give a bit of a change in the colours. So I've gone into a bit more of the red. I'm gonna change the colour a bit to a bit more red, a bit more pinky. I use little uh, little strokes like that. Blur that a little bit there. That's better. So some areas maybe you don't want it to be as bright, so you can just use your finger to take the paint away. up a bit of red so I can change some of this and then I want to uh, I want to put that light in there as well I might put in a cloud it goes all the way along Sort of a line it goes across here as well. I'll just put that in. I wonder if that was an aeroplane. I haven't done it as straight, but never mind. <laughs> I've got a bit of white on my finger. I'm going to brighten this area up. This is the most blown out area. <laughs> Probably put a little bit too much paint on there, but I might get some red in there. Some of the 
brown. So I'm going to let this melt into the brown a bit. That's the idea. <laughs> yellow I'll let that melt in as well Now what I'm going to do while that's drying, I'm going to pick up a bit of the brown on, the, on this little brush and put in a few little details. Okay, a bit more detail over here. See this is all starting to mix together a bit. Just gonna pull a few of these out. Okay. Right, I need to wait for this to dry a bit now. Meanwhile, I'll uh, just put a bit of the uh, darker colour there. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. That's a simple. That's a simple sky. Um, I enjoyed doing actually. You could change things. You could have a castle in the background. <laughs> you could do anything, anything you like. And uh, so I'm just going to dry this off a bit. 
Okay, so uh, now <laughs> I might use this brush. So we've got some leaves that I want to put in. I want them to be dark, coming down here. So I'll just uh, use this brush, put in a few. This tree over here it just breaks this up a bit as well. Okay, and then uh, I might put another layer of land but go quite dark to go in front of this. So yeah, we'll call uh, this one finished. Thanks very much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try and do some, get get back in the groove again and do uh, a lot more paintings for YouTube. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.